Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to start the regions of operation of mass transistor. So the regions of operation of mass transistor is going to help us to learn about the basic building blocks of analog IC design. Okay, that is the main topic actually what I am going to discuss the basic building blocks of analog IC design. Before going into that, let us see the what are, uh, what are the different regions of operations of the mass transistor. So, if you take the mass transistor, we know mass transistor that may be either a P mass transistor or N mass transistor. Let us consider a N mass transistor, N mass transistor, gate, drain and source, gate, drain and source. We know gate terminal is analogous to your base terminal in the bipolar junction transistor and drain terminal is analogous to collector terminal in the BJT and source terminal is analogous to emitter terminal in the BJT. So now there are two voltages required for the operation of this mass transistor. One is VGS applied between gate and source. Another one is VDS applied between drain and source. Okay. What are those two? VGS and VDS. If we see what is the purpose of these two individually, VGS is the gate to source voltage which is having the responsibility to create the channel. It is used to create the channel. That means when VGS is greater than or equal to VT, transistor comes into on state, nothing but channel is created channel is created. This is the meaning of VGS is greater than or equal to VT. When input voltage is greater than or equal to VT, nothing but it meets the minimum required voltage, threshold voltage. What is VT? VT is the minimum threshold voltage required. Minimum voltage required to make the transistor on. Otherwise, we can also say that it is the voltage required for the transistor to create the channel. So, when the input voltage meets this VT, minimum required voltage, then the transistor is said to be non-state or we can say the channel is created. Once the channel is created between drain and source, once the channel is created between drain and source, then what happens? There is a path existed between source and drain so that the electron can easily move from source to drain. So that the electron is having a path to move from source to drain so that the current will move from drain to source current will move from drain to source so in order to move the electrons from source to drain we are having this vds voltage so it is responsible for the movement of for the movement of electrons it is responsible for the movement of electrons nothing but it id produces id or ids produces which is proportional to the applied voltage vds which is proportional to the applied voltage vgs okay so now let us see what is the input voltage condition for different regions of this transistor so different regions regions of operation of this transistor there are three different regions. One is cutoff region, cutoff region, and second one, non saturation region, non saturation region, or also known as linear region, linear region, or triode region several names are there resistive region resistive region or ohmic region okay 
so non saturation region linear region triode region resistive region and ohmic region these are the different names of this non saturation region okay in, that means in this particular region the transistor is acting as a resistor on resistor that means voltage increases current increases and coming to the third region third one is the saturation region saturation region in saturation region even if you increase the vds voltage ids will not increase ids comes into saturation it maintains a stable voltage stable current okay so now cutoff region is nothing but when input voltage vgs is less than vt if input voltage vgs is less than vt if the threshold voltage is not met from the input side then the transistor is still in the cutoff region and in that region no current flows so, so ids is equal to zero ids is equal to zero coming to non saturation region or linear or triode or resistor or ohmic region in this region vgs is greater than vt vgs is greater than vt and vds is less than vgs minus vt then current id flows okay what is the condition the VD, VGS input voltage VGS must be greater than the threshold voltage so channel is created and in order to flow the current in proper way that means IDS is proportional to we can say IDS is proportional to applied voltage VDS so VDS is less than or equal to less than VGS minus VT and coming to the saturation region in saturation region what happens VGS is greater than vt of course and vds is greater than vgs minus vt vgs is greater than vt and the next condition is vds is greater than vgs minus vt or we can say vgs vds is greater than or equal to vgs minus vt in this region ids will not increase will not increase even if we increase VDS okay that means that this particular current IDS comes into saturation beyond that it will not increase okay so this is what the region of operation of the mass transistor let us see these three regions say diagrammatically with respect to VA characteristics of this VDS and IDS so VDS is taken on the x-axis and IDS is taken on the y-axis see this initially when VGS is less than VTH transistor is said to be in off state then there is no flow of current okay when VGS is less than VTH the transistor is in off state and there is no flow of current so IDS is equal to zero that's why IDS is equal to zero and now increase the VTH increase the input voltage VGS such that it is greater than VTH it is greater than VTH and assume the VDS voltage is less than VGS minus VT VDS voltage is less than VGS minus VT then what happens the transistor is said to be in non saturation region as the IDS increases with respect to VDS see the characteristic curves of all these here the IDS increases with respect to applied voltage here, here, here and here. Okay. Until you reach this particular point, this point specifies VDS is equal to VGS minus VT. VGS, VDS is equal to VGS minus VT. At this particular point, the transistor is said to be entered into saturation region. The transistor is said to be entered into saturation region so beyond this what happens the transistor even if you increase the vds voltage current will not increase that's why current becomes stabilized this is the reason what is the meaning of saturation saturation current gets saturated and it will not increase more than that value okay and if you still go to that vds is greater than vgs minus vt and this particular region pinch of occurs 
pinch of region transistor enters into pinch of region so that the channel breaks down and no current will increase more than that this is the meaning of vds is greater than vgs minus vt okay vgs vds is greater than vgs minus vt so these are the three different regions of operation of the mos transistor um, linear region non uh, saturation region and cutoff region thank you